Professor Eric's right over here, guys. <laughs> you can't see it, he's a ghost. So, uh, we had a really good request in the comments the other day. And then I ran it by some of the students on our Zoom classes because we're still under the COVID timeline. And uh, there's a common move in Kali, or niece, Screma, whatever system you're in, that people struggle with known as a Floretti or a Dubliti. So Dubliti is like the harness term, which is where this gentleman saw it was with an harness group. And then uh, Floretti is in Kali systems, like Dose Perry's uses that term. And it is similar to a redondo, but instead of using the shoulder and the elbow to make a circular movement, you're going to use the wrist, right? Because we only have so many joints that are basically like ball and socket, right? Like your hip can rotate, but your knee does not. But your ankle is like your wrist. It can rotate. So same thing upstairs. So I can use the shoulder to make a big circular motion, or I can use the wrist, whether I'm going to warm up or whatever. So what Floretti is, is we're gonna start out with two strikes to the same line. So let's say we just do a downward X, forehand and backhand, forehand and backhand. So I'm gonna hit the angle one, and after I hit the target, the tip of the stick is gonna go through. So now you see my palm orientation has changed, the wrist is turned over. It's gonna come back towards me and go palm up and slash through again. So see, palm up, down, rotation, palm up. So the major difference between that and Redondo, besides the size and finesse of the wrist movement, is that the stick or object doesn't generally go over the head, right? So it, it stays in front of the body here, like that. Where someone's on a Redondo, see the whole arm could go around the head, okay? I could just do the stick portion as well, but it's a much larger movement, and I'm using more of my shoulder to move the arm than I am the wrist. And uh, maybe I'll show you how this works on a knife as well. Okay, so palm up, you wanna make sure you hit the line. So don't come in and necessarily change it early. You can do that. I'm gonna hit, palm down, rotate, palm up. On the backhand side, it's the exact opposite. I'm gonna hit the target after it clears the center line or the target, it's gonna go palm up, come back around, and back in. So it's gonna look like one, Two, one, so it's still downward X, but I'm just going forehand and backhand. Forehand and backhand. Two forehand, two backhand. So I'm hitting the same target. Angle one, angle one, angle two, angle two. But you can go angle one to a horizontal motion, angle two to a horizontal motion. You could go to the kneecap. You could change it to an uppercut, whatever you want to do. But the beginner method I would start out with is just hit the same line. So then we do the same thing. I hit the angle three, I hit the angle three. Four, four, see? Three, four. So that's more horizontal that way, okay? Uh, so an easy drill that I'll give you is we're gonna combine the abanico and the redondo with this. So I'm gonna go floretti or Dublini, around the head, abanico would take. And now from here, see my palm is out. So this will actually be a redondo because I'm gonna turn it over using the shoulder and I'm gonna hit through the angle one line again. So see, Floretti, Chiavnico, redondo. That's it, I'm exaggerating because my movement looks big. That's it. So on the backhand side, Floretti, two abanico, and one redondo. Because again, backhand, abanico. Now it's palm in. So I have to circle it over my head, which is the redondo, to come down this way. So simple exercise, one, two, three, five beats on each side. See, angle one, abanico, angle one. Angle two, abanico, angle two. I'll do this with like vertical uppercuts and just kind of like mix in the redondo, shadow box, like all the time. Okay, uh, so real quick. This is stealing, because this is the combination that the Arnie's group was using, but the gentleman wanted me to slow it down, so I, I think I've got a good understanding of it. You guys can rewatch that link, I'll post it in the description to, to give him credit. But all he was doing was mixing in the Abanico Tick, the Floretti, and the Redondo. It's a bit of a longer combination, so I think that's what you guys might have been struggling with the other day. So if I remember correctly, it was downward Floretti, 
and then a snapping upward backhand. So this is gonna create the redondo. Like if I hit the kneecap and then come over to the angle one, that is a redondo. So Floretti, snapping backhand, single redondo this way. Then backhand slash. And what he's really doing is just orientating himself back to the neutral guard position where it's open. So then you go another Floretti, two Abenico, and one more slash to finish it up. So Floretti, snapping back, redondo, backhand slash, one more Floretti, Abenico, and slash like that. One more time. Backhand, slash, Floretti, Abenico, slash. And that's pretty much it. So these combinations aren't like magic or anything. It's just like learning like jab, cross, hook. Oh, I can go jab, body cross hook. Oh, I can go jab, uppercut hook. I can go jab, overhand, and hook. They're just like Legos or a Rector set or something. You just want to make combinations that suit you. So you can, you can copy anybody's combination, but you really want to just see how structure works. And you're going to get there by isolating it. So this week, maybe work on these Ferretti's. And then next week, just what could you add? Like maybe you go double Ferretti, Redondo. Double Ferretti, Redondo. Maybe you go Ferretti, Horizontal. And that, see that just brings me back to the same line. Maybe I go Ferretti, overhand thrust, kneecap, grip, right? I'm just mixing up combinations. Or the easy one I started with is Floretti. This is really common in Kali, Abenico, hit, double. This will get you started, that's it. All right, so things are really simple, but we need to slow them down and to build those fine motor skills, that finesse, it does take some practice, but you don't want to get defeated by it. You just spend a couple minutes a day, like literally two minutes, right, Eric? Mm -hmm. Two minutes a day, Monday through Friday, you've done 10 minutes, and I'm sorry to tell you this, but you've done more than like 90% of people yep. out there. Because they just, oh man, that's, that's tough, I don't get it, and they just put it down, so they move on to something else. Just keeping your brain active and yeah, thinking exactly. about things is huge. Yeah, well, he's talking. Yeah. Let's look real quick at the night. So just to give you a simple concept, this is a common fake. It, to me, it's the same as the Floretti, even though I'm not going to do like that line there. But like if, if I thrust the blade, see it's palm down. Now I'm going to go palm up and hit to the waist. Now it's palm up. So I thrust and I'm going to go palm down to the bottom. So I thrust and roll it, thrust and roll it, thrust and roll it, thrust and roll. So if I did that with a stick, it's kind of a shortcut to the Floretti. Some people will come in with like a backhand thrust and hit. See, there's the thrust, there's the hit. Thrust and hit, thrust and hit, thrust and hit. So it's no different when you pick up the sharp object, thrust and hit, thrust and hit. So imagine somebody's blocking, that's how you're gonna get around it. And that's the purpose of the Floretti too, is the guy might block, so you bounce and you hit the hand. Or he blocks, so you take it to the kneecap, right? So. Maybe he blocks both, I, the guy's real sharp. You come around with the abanico. So the idea is, think about the opponent you're mentally sparring against, and what would they be doing to counter all that? You're trying to look for setups, right? Sometimes this is a fake, and I just smashed the hand. That's it. All right, I hope that was a little more clear for you guys. Hope I didn't talk too much today. Appreciate you watching, Warriors. We try to drop a Kali video at least once a week, and like this one, Came out of a really good question in the comments. So appreciate you guys out there. Keep it coming and uh, we'll answer anything you got. Appreciate you. Thanks, Warriors. We're out. Warriors out.